Hey guys, so now that you know where all the tools are, I want to show you quickly how to create a brand voice. Simply navigate to utilities and click brand voice library. You'll then, if you haven't created brand voices yet, you'll need to just say start. But if you have, you can simply create multiple ones. You can create up to 200 brand voices. Now a brand voice is intended to do a few things. One is give Charlie a knowledge of your brand. So that's your product that's your vision, that's your mission. And then the second reason for the brand voice is to control the outputs of Charlie. Think of this as making an intern walk, talk, and bark like you. So give your brand voice a name. Uh, so your brand voice could be uh, Donut Bank, which is a donut shop in Evansville, Indiana. Uh, and let's call this the uh, holiday campaign. Now, the reason I'm putting holiday campaign is because you can switch these in and out in each one of your workflows, as you may already be familiar with with the platform. Uh, but this makes it easy to do brand voices at the parent brand level, at the sub brand level, at the product level, or even at the individual marketing campaign level. So largely the company profile area probably doesn't change too, too much uh, between products or brands, but this is really where you talk about the vision the mission, what your company does, and who your company is trying to sell for. This is a really easy way that you can fill this out. You have up to 2,000 characters, but we'll keep it simple for now. So Donut Bank is a donut shop in Evansville, Indiana, that sells sweet treats, coffee, and... Uh, t-shirts. Our vision is to help make each day a little bit of a sweeter experience. Our mission is to sell millions of donuts to donate proceeds back to local charities. We sell to the busy professional and their children to make their days just a little sweeter. So remember, company profile is vision, mission, what you're selling and who you're selling to, setting the foundation about your business. But then response rules is where you can really start to affect what comes out of Charlie. So the response rules really focuses on a couple key things. One is the tone of voice that you want to use. Two is the words that you want Charlie to use. Three is the words you don't want Charlie to use. And then four is any sort of structural rules that you have around the content that you create. So what do we mean by this? So the first is write in a tone of voice that is casual, fun, and makes lots of bank puns. So again, this is going back to style. So tone and style. Um, then let's say use the keywords donuts, coffee, uh, sweet days, um, and then maybe this is a holiday campaign, so happy holidays and make your days with your family a little sweet. Now, if you're using GoCharlie for SEO, this is a perfect place to put in all those SEO keywords. Uh, here, let's say, don't talk about carbs. And then lastly, but not least, is maybe some stylistic guidance. So we can say, end every message with three donut emojis. So we'll put these here because that's our branding. We click create. And now we've created this Donut Bank holiday campaign. And to understand where we go for it, we simply just go back to the campaign creator studio and anywhere where you see select brand voice, you can select it and it will automatically use those rules. So that's how to create a brand voice. Uh, we hope that you test it out. I think it's one of the best ways to be able to customize the outputs and control Charlie. So we want you to be able to have that knowledge uh, going into using the platform.